One of the top storylines in the offseason has been about Brandon Ayuk's contract situation, him requesting a trade from the 49ers, and what trade teams can get Brandon Ayuk. Well, I'm here to give you my thoughts on the situation and what I believe can happen to Brandon Ayuk. Now, Brandon Ayuk is probably one of the most underrated wide receivers in the NFL. I really enjoy his game. He's someone that can be a clear number one option on what team. He is a great duo with Debo Samuel on the opposite end, and he's probably one of the best run blocking wide receivers in the NFL. With, Jeff, with Justin Jefferson getting his money, C.D. Lamb is next, so on and so forth. Brandon Ayuk definitely wants to get paid. He's definitely trying to get near the $30 million mark, which the 49ers do not agree with what Brandon Ayuk is trying to demand, especially with Debo Samuel's contracts. Going to have to get into that conversation. And Brock Purdy is probably, probably going to be the most paid and the highest paid quarterback in a few years. So I understand the 49ers process of not wanting to give Brandon Ayuk's demand of what he wants. Now, I know there are a lot of forums, a lot of Instagram posts, and a lot of trade offers that could probably make sense for the 49ers, whether that's trading Brandon Ayuk to the Commanders, trading him to the Patriots, the Jets, um, teams that could definitely use Brandon Ayuk. Well, I'm here to tell you, or obviously the Pittsburgh Steelers. Well, I'm kind of here to tell you that those teams trying to make those hypothetical trade offers, I do not think they make sense. The reason being is because those teams are not going to be Super Bowl contenders anytime soon. And I feel like with that type of, with that, with those type of teams, they're going to need as much draft capital as possible in the next few years to rebuild their team probably be top contenders in a division and potential super super bowl winners so i don't think either of those teams will should trade any draft picks um if the 49ers were to listen to offers it's going to have to be a high caliber player in demand whether it's a star-studded defensive end to be a great um, running mate with nick bosa a quality offensive lineman to boost up the offensive line and protect Brock Purdy and open up, you know, the lanes for Christian McCaffrey. But definitely if Brock Purdy is going to be the highest paid quarterback, there were some times where he took a lot of hits from the offensive line. So I'm sure they're going to want to get a high caliber offensive lineman in return as well. High caliber defensive end, high caliber offensive lineman, along with that kind of draft capital. I can't think of teams that will be able to, provide 49ers that type of premium if there's one team that probably makes sense to me if Brandon Ayuk were to go I my choice will probably be the commanders he will probably re he will reunite with Jaden Daniels who was his college quarterback and I think Terry McLaurin Jahan Dotson and Brandon Ayuk will be a nice trio in that offense but I'm sure a lot of you will think that he'll look better in different teams which I definitely understand your point this is what I think is going to happen to Brandon Ayuk and these are my thoughts I understand in this fifth year option, he's expected to pay $40, $14 million. Um, if Brandon Ayuk holds out, he will be losing a lot of money. He will be losing current and future earnings. So I don't think holding out will make the most sense for Brandon Ayuk. And the 49ers know that that can't, that's probably not the route that Ayuk wants to go. So what I think was going to happen is. Me, personally, I think the 49ers are not going to trade Brandon Ayuk, and I think they're going to find a way to keep their team intact. Brandon Ayuk on this offense makes this team a lot better and definitely gives them a chance to compete for a Super Bowl. So with that being said, I think the 49ers will figure something out, especially with his fifth-year option making $14 million, maybe give him the franchise tag for 2025 to make $22 million, which gives the team two years of control of Brennan Ayuk, which then gives them two years of Super Bowl winning opportunities. So those are my thoughts for what I think of this Brennan Ayuk situation and what I think will happen. Please comment below on your thoughts on what you think will happen to Brennan Ayuk. Thank you so much and catch you next time.